What do early Disney films and time-lapse photography have in common? John Nash Ott. Born on October 23, 1909, Ott lived a relatively quiet life and became a banker at an early age, but it never felt quite right. He was drawn to photography, especially time-lapse photography, and he soon became a pioneer in this field. But how did a banker become such an important scientific figure? Well, it originally began as a hobby in his basement, which was quickly full of fluorescent lights and various plants. His pantry was full of reels of film from his practice trials, and his hobby quickly grew into a career for him. His interest generally focused on plant growth and the use of time-lapse photography to track it. He even created the first motion-controlled systems that could record the plant growing and actually moved with the plant's growth. Ott's work quickly caught the attention of many filmmakers, most importantly Walt Disney. Together they collaborated to produce one of the first modern-day time-lapse films, The Secrets of Life. Ott's techniques that were generally used to record plants were instead used to film the environment and connect it together to produce a documentary. Ott also investigated the variations in lighting on plant growth. By changing color temperatures, he could manipulate the plants into flowering or bearing fruit. His findings soon spread throughout the scientific world and the concept of malillumination was created. Ott had found that light not only influenced plant growth, but also human growth. Similar to malnutrition, malillumination is the disorder that Ott hypothesized was caused by human contact with too much artificial lighting and not enough natural sunlight. This idea was highly controversial and still is today. In order to create an homage for John Nash Ott, I decided to make my own time-lapse compilation of a chia plant growing. The plant was also placed in an area with artificial lighting. This was to test his theory of malillumination, which would slow plant growth. The first few photos show little growth, but by the end of the week there is a distinct change.